Hello, my name's James Cockle, and this year I'm running to be the Green Party co-leader at the AGM against uh, the current male co-leader, James Shaw. I'm making a, a sequence of videos to explain why I'm running, um, what I stand for, who I am, what I believe in, and why I would like for you to support me in this um, co-leader challenge. So first up, who am I? Well, as I said, my name's James Cockle. Um, I come from Auckland, Tamaki Makoto originally. I lived in um, Wellington, Palmerston North, Whanganui, and um, now I'm down here in Dunedin. Um, yeah, so I guess uh, my my maunga would be Ruapehu and my awa would be um, Whanganui because that's where my children were born. So that's what, what makes me feel most grounded to the um, to nature and to the earth. Um, I've uh, I've come from a, a diverse background in terms of work experience. So I've done um, I've been a, a you know newspaper delivery person. I've done uh, McDonald's um, night shift uh, you know um, maintenance crew. I've uh, worked for a, a carpet layer as a labourer. I've been a cleaner for a um, motels and also cleaner for a butcher's shop when I was a younger fellow back when I was thirteen after school and more recently I've done um, you know IT support um, and I've done I've been a librarian and I've worked um, at an after-school drop-in center as youth worker with young people and right now I work in my little shed um, at the back of my place here in Dunedin for an IT company up in Whanganui and I'm a software developer and a team lead uh, a, te a tech lead as part of our team so that might seem like a lot of different work experience, but I feel like that gives me a real good understanding of the various um, pe walks of life that people, um, you know, go through. Uh, and my current job, I think, sets me up really well to become leader because I'm a I'm a team lead here, and I work, you know, as part of my team, we we work really closely together, we really work collaboratively, and we work on real solutions that are actually fixing real problems for our customers. Um, and that's a big part of what I stand for as a leader. Um, in terms of my um, sort of politics, I've always believed really strongly in egalitarianism. So like believing that everybody is equal and everybody is uh, just as valuable as everybody else. Um, I'm a pragmatic, so I really um, am focused on solutions that are realistic, but um, but also what's needed, not not theoretical, you know, what doing what's actually needed. Um, and in terms of my spirituality, I guess I'm... I'm a scientist and that I and that I really believe in the scientific process, but um, I also feel strongly connected to spirituality. I don't have any, you know, specific religious dogma, but I, I feel like there's a spiritual side to myself and I think that there is definitely a lot more than we can perceive with our five senses. So yeah, that's who I am. I'm also an activist, so I'm a, I'm really um, heavily involved in the local activism community here in Dunedin, working to end fossil fuels, particularly to end coal, because we have a, a train, a coal train that comes through our town every day, carrying 500 tonnes full of coal every day to travel um, north to dry milk um, to be sent overseas for export, and we think that's absolutely wrong and absolutely unacceptable. So I've been, I've been, you know, working with the activists here and, and being part of that movement to end coal. Of course, that's just a part of what has to happen. Um, yeah, so that's who I am, and um, thank you very much for listening, and uh, stay tuned for more. Thanks.